Welcome to my how to manage your music library and your playlist on your iPod or any device you use Rockbox with it. So this is helpful for uh, people who has like a very big library and like to keep their playlists organized. I don't like having like 6,000 songs and just hit shuffle and listen to everything at once. I, I like to choose what I want to listen. So let's start by the the program I use, the, the, it's the it's this little guy, Swin CN, and it's pretty much um, like uh, iTunes, but it's, it's very powerful as well. It's so it's sadly a paid app, but I don't say that with a lot of pain in my heart because it's really cheap. It's only twenty five bucks for the lifetime license. So I do this trick. Um, whenever the thirty days expire, I go back to the website, I download again, I exclude the existing application on my computer and I install uh, this version again, the same version, and I go by this process all over again, uh, importing the songs, importing the files, reorganizing the everything, just to be set and ready to go. Doesn't need to check. Yeah, when you when you first open, it's it gonna show you like this. You can either import the music app library, like if you have, um, if you use to synchronize your iPod with Apple Music, you can just import that and it's gonna come up with all your playlists and, and your music, but I don't do that anymore. So I don't have my playlist perfectly updated in Apple Music. I'm gonna, uh, I started doing this by for a very long time now, and I'm gonna choose a folder to import. So I'm gonna click here. As you can see, my iPod Classic is already plugged in in my computer. So what I do is I go to the location where it is. I choose the folder where all my songs are at and I click open. And whenever you first choose the, the folder to import the music, it's gonna read the tags for all of your songs. So I have 5,951 tracks. You're gonna read all the tags from it. You're gonna update all the album artwork. So I'm gonna leave this like reading tags because it's gonna take a lot of long time. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Why do you have to import from your iPod where the songs are? Because when you're going to export the playlist you created, you're gonna write a new entry, you eight file and the m 3 weight file is gonna point out where the songs are so if the songs are in your computer and you export the, the playlist to your ipod and save it in your ipod when you go to the playlist uh, selection it's going to show that the, the file is not there because it, the reference is wrong so you have to use the source as your ipod and export straight back into your ipod but this only happens at the first time you synchronize this well if you do this monthly you every month when you buy and when you download it again and it's going to need to import all your songs again and have it take a little bit of time you can do this in here as well like you go in settings and you go into library here and you're gonna uh, pick your library where it is so library folder location you can just um, go here other and use your iPod like here your iPod musics and click it open and it will be dragging your songs from there and as you can see here when you're importing your library you also have this option to import Apple Music library every time since you is opened like if you are a person who is still use Apple Music on your cell phone or anything else and you have the exactly same songs and you know everything it's pretty matching matching up you can just uh, check this and check this it will override the playlist you already have in here with the, the changes from Apple Music and also the track tags and everything else. I don't do this because I don't I don't use Apple Music to anything just to listen to music. It finish it off uh, importing the song so you can see here 5951 tracks 40 gigs. I download I get my songs in FLAC and I <coughs> convert them to Opals compresses very well and saves a lot of space. So my my iPod Classic is only 128 gigs and I cannot afford having a full flag library onto it as much as I would like to. So what I do is I have a new batch of songs. I'm gonna import those as well in here just so you guys can see the full process of it. So I go to my SSD, take all the songs I got today in here and I drag them onto the library like that. I'm gonna customize here so I can see the newer songs so that it modified and pull this up all of those songs I added up today are in here so what I do 
now is uh, when I have a mix of a lot of types of songs, I just select all of those new ones and create a new playlist with it. So I'm gonna name them test. All of these songs are the same, but I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it. What you are going to do now, you're gonna do go to your playlist folder if you already have one and you can select all of them and just drag and drop them all over to swing CM. And all your playlists are going to be here and the reference will be correct because you imported the songs from your iPod and the playlists are referring as well from the iPod. So if I click on any on any playlist here, let's say jazz, and double click in here, the, the song will play. See? It, it, it just works. So what I did with the first playlist, uh, I select the newer songs. So when I have mixed types of music, I just um, add it here, go to genre, 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 and I select by genre, and I put them in playlists the, of the same genre, like MPB. I put those in MPB, but all of these songs are national rock, so I'm just going to put them into rock. Yeah. So you just drag and drop them in here. See, it's it's already there. So now this playlist has new songs updated. And what I want to do now is export those. You just, uh, you just right click with it on top of it. Click export. And you're going to find your playlist folder inside your iPod. And hit save. It's gonna ask you if you want to replace it. I'm gonna say yes, I want to replace it because it has new songs in it. And it, it, will, it will save with the new addition of songs. So if I go here back to my iPod, play this modification date, here it is. And all the, the songs I downloaded and inserted into the iPod and into this playlist specifically are in here. So whenever I go back to my iPod, and open up this playlist and, and it will show all the songs and the reference will be correct so you can just hit play and listen to whatever you want to listen.